Archangel, going in. Watch out. Archangel, take it out. a little Valkyrie action to get the video started. My first official Black Ops 6 video. Well, the game doesn't drop until midnight local time, but my first official Black Ops 6 video that's not beta. A little Valkyrie action. Oh, yo, geez, you remember that Valkyrie from Black Ops 1? Like, that streak was so ass. All the way ass in Black Ops 1. And it's back over here. They're calling it, like, the Archangel now, I think. And it's still ass, but... I mean, damn, man. I got four kills with two rockets. I'm, I'm going to take that. Four kills with two rockets. That was the first time I earned that joint as well, too. So I'm not even hating. But we got to get this fucking rage bait out of the way. Because that's how it is out here. Like, if you criticize X Defiant, actually, you'll be praised for it. Except for the the cult of X Defiant. They're, you can't say anything negative about the game. They'll hate you for it. Like, even if you're soldiering for the game, but you're criticizing what needs to be criticized. They will hate you. But this Call of Duty community is, oh, yeah, man, we love you if you're criticizing X Defiant or Battlefield or Destiny, whatever. You can criticize all the games. Don't you dare say mean words about our little Call of Duty. As soon as you say those mean words about the Call of Duty, right? Rage bait, COD hate channel. All day, every day. Like, you can't, you can't criticize this game at all positives and negatives you can't review this game you say one thing negative you're a rage bait god hate channel so we got to get this fucking rage bait out of the way man my first impressions with this game so far i think the campaign is pretty solid man i haven't beaten it yet as you guys know anybody who watched me streaming it a little bit over there on my second channel you know we we got about i think it was like two hours in or something like that and so far, so good, man. It's pretty solid. It's not like this earth-shattering campaign or nothing like that. But so far, what I've seen, solid campaign nonetheless, man. I was digging it. Like, there's a few performance issues there that they got to clean up and all that. But, you know, I was digging it. I was having a good time. I'm liking the campaign so far. Got a little taste of zombies. And I got to tell you, man, I am so far, like, I... You know, we, we haven't had time to do shit, man. I had to work a little bit this morning, came home, started streaming the campaign, had some other shit to do, and now we're here making this video after a few games of multiplayer and a tiny little bit of zombies, right? So this is just a real raw first impressions. Like, we, you know, we're going to dive in when we have more time tomorrow, later, whatever. But the zombies so far, I'm liking it, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad that we're back to round base. Liberty Balls, I tried that out a little bit. It, it is what it is. You know, I'm not really noticing all these changes they were talking about and everything that from the gameplay that we seen when the streamers got to play it early. It, it's fine for what it is. It's, it's an extra map. It's a throwaway map, I guess, and it's, it's fine. Terminus, Terminus seems like it's pretty cool, though. Haven't made it very far. I definitely will, man. We're we going to get some zombies in. You will see some zombies on this channel this year I, I was liking what i was seeing so far is it is it like the best map we've ever seen in cod zombies no you know i don't think it's i don't think it's gonna reach those levels of a mob of the dead or buried or origins or anything like that even like a kino i don't know if it's ever gonna reach those maps but it seems like a solid map nonetheless and i'm just i'm happy to get back to round base man i'm tired of war zone zombies you know we needed round base round base is where it's at this is home for Call of Duty Zombies. All these nerds now talking about how round base is boring, man. It's, it's, it's old and it's tired and it's played out. Like, we need zombies like Modern Warfare. Dude, shut the fuck up. Go over there, man. Why y'all come to our franchise, right? You come to Call of Duty when it was a, a global fucking juggernaut for years. You bring it over here and you're like, nah, man, zombies is boring. We want, we want to encourage this new Warzone zombies. We want that. We want the DMZ zombies. Uh, let's reward the developers. Let's praise the developers for giving us this shit-ass zombies because round base is boring. No, no, no. Round base is where it's at. Y'all are doing the same shit with multiplayer too. Talking about how skill-based matchmaking is good for pubs. Talking about this. Talking about that. It's like, dude, get the fuck out of here, man. Instead of coming over here and changing COD, our COD, into your COD, Go and play what you want. 
Go and play whatever. Like, you like Rainbow Six and shit? Go and play that shit, bro. We don't want it over here. But anyways, moving along with this rage bait, now we're actually going to get to the rage baiting. And the multiplayer. This is what most of you guys watch me for. This is what I play the most in Call of Duty. And I haven't had a chance to try every map yet. But the maps that I've tried so far, with the maps that we saw in the beta, dude, these maps are fucking stupid. Like, just dumb. Dumb as a bucket of shrimp. Like, I got to play that red card map. I tried out Low Town, tried out Vorkuda, as well as Payback. And I gotta steal this from the homie Fooly, man, because it, it feels like it fits just right. These maps are a two pack of ass. Like, all ass. All up, down, and through ass. These maps are just not it, bro. They're not, they don't feel like Treyarch maps. Like, honestly, playing those new maps that I just listed, Scud would, <laughs> like, is Scud better than those maps? <laughs> I probably say, like, yeah, it probably is, man. Like, if you're looking for a map where you got to use your brain a little bit, there's some strategy there, you're not going to find a lot of that over here, bro. Like, payback is just a clusterfuck of, like, you're shooting people within a few seconds of spawning, like, when you start the game. You're, you're shooting people, like, it, like a Babylon-type deal. You know, Vorkuda is bigger, but it's just so crazy with all the different levels and head glitches, and the spawns are crazy right now. The sweats are crazy, and a lot of my lobbies have been dudes... Camping for KD, like extreme KD whore head glitching campers. Either they're laying down in some stairs or they're head glitching or whatever, and they're actually good at the game. So if you do run up on them, they're going to get you, man. They know what they're doing. They're good at the game, but they care more about their KD, so they're camping like crazy. So I would say like half my lobbies are people like that, and then the other half are the scuff G Fuel nerds just bunny hopping and diving all over the place, doing 180s and 360s and shit. Somehow... They have perfect accuracy, too. They do not miss a shot. And I don't want to hear shit about my gameplay in this. This was my first time playing on this map. I was trying to learn the map. I'm trying to get my aim right. I'm rusty and shit. And all I'm thinking is, dude, this map sucks. Like, what was... They don't feel like traditional Treyarch maps. Like, like I was saying in the beta, can a few of these maps grow on me over time? Yeah, maybe some of them can grow on me. They, they just don't feel like traditional Treyarch maps, though. But with that out of the way, this rage bait, first impressions raw, first impressions video, the multiplayer, even though maps are so important to your game, the multiplayer, like just the gunplay with the movement, the freedom you have with that movement, I, I like it. I like it. But the problem is, is what they got going on over here with the matchmaking and everything else, it's not going to work with these maps, bro. You're going to see people in a couple months time, maybe not even. And they're like, dude, I just had enough. I can't take it anymore. The sweat, the omni movement, the matchmaking on maps like this, I'm done. I'm out. And these knob goblin cod sims are just going to preach skill issue to you just because you're pointing out the problems, the flaws with this game. Every time you say something they don't like about a video game, it's always a skill issue, man. That's what that's what you're going to hear. When you break this down later, because it's, it's going to be a problem, skill issue. Mark my fucking words. That's all you're going to hear from these nerds. They're going to get more overprotective about this game because they're going to master the Omni movement. Their ass is going to get red, raw, and sore. They ain't going to be able to handle it. Their bottoms are not going to be able to handle it if you say anything critical about this game. Believe me when I tell you this, it's coming. So we got potentially a multiplayer here that has, you know, a foundation. It could be a solid multiplayer but you got all these X factors. You got all this extra bullshit that's going to weigh it down. And it's, it, it's going to be tough, man. Like, people are in the honeymoon phase right now. So they're, they're going to talk about this game being the greatest game ever made. You know, I haven't seen all the maps yet. But just the maps that I've seen, like, these maps are fucking trash, man. They're garbage. Like, Skyline is probably the best map I've seen so far in the game. And I don't even think that's a good map. Like, it may be good. Like, it ain't a great map. Maybe you can make an argument that it's a good map, but still, it's, you know, I don't necessarily think it's a good map, but I would hear somebody out if they were trying to make that point. Like, the maps we have here, man, they just ain't it. And then you got to think the matchmaking is going to get more intense, and people, when they learn the movement and they get better at it, everything's going to get more intense, and we got Last Stand over here now and shit. It's, uh, it's, it's wild over here, but this is just my first impressions, right? We... 
we we're going to dig in. All right, we, we haven't even got a chance to really test this game out yet. It's just a first impression, so take it for what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if you got a chance to try the other maps that I didn't talk about in this video. Let me know what you think of them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you on the next one.